Welcome back, folks. You may recognize Christine Morell as also known as Little Christy, who's created her own unique brand of New Mexican products, food products, that is. But what you may not know is that Christine is also a rock star, hence the guitar. And she wowed <laughs> audiences and judges as a contestant on season three of The X Factor. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks. So this is this is great. You're a New Mexico native, right? So yes. how did you get started in music? Um, well, I started when I was very young. So my mom started me in piano lessons, and all my family they all sing and they all play instruments. Okay. So it's kind of just like second nature. So it's nice. Yes, it's nice. you just grew up around it. That's yes, great. Yes, always. There's always singing in our in our house, and everyone always played instruments. Uh -huh. So it was it was kind of a concert every time we got together for Christmas. Yeah, really that's very cool. That's yeah, very cool. Thank you. Well, so let's talk about your experience on the X Factor. So you audition. You're selected as one of the top ten in the over 25. Yeah. And uh, let's see, what we had Kelly Rowland, who was yes. your mentor, which yes. is awesome. Yeah, she was really awesome. She so, was how so, was that competition? She was for so you? kind. It was, I mean, I, I would have never guessed what it was going to be like. Mm -hmm. You know, you only see what's on the screen, you have no idea what's happening behind it. I have so much respect for all the contestants now, knowing what everyone goes through. I mean, sometimes you're there for 18 hours mm -hmm. before you even sing. You know, mm -hmm. you're doing interviews, you're, you know, testing for wardrobe and mic and this and that, and they're making sure that so many things are trying to, to work in. And then you sing after like 18 hours, you're <laughs> sleep deprived, you haven't eaten. Like, I mean, just, I, I now know that it's so, uh, it's very nerve wracking as well. Yeah. You know, being in front of all those people, you have Simon and you have Kelly and Demi Lovato, yeah. all just judging you. So it was definitely, uh, it was a lot of mixed emotions. It was yeah, I bet. Yeah. I bet. So, <laughs> yeah. of course, the question everyone always wonders, how scary is Simon? I know. I get asked that so much. You know, he was actually very kind to me. But, really? Um, yes, he was very kind. How, uh, do you, how does it feel to be like the 1% of people that can <laughs> say that in the world? I really liked him. Maybe I don't get my feelings hurt very easily. Maybe, like, <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe there's something wrong with me. But he was so, um, he, I did notice that um, he, he wasn't always kind. So I think uh, maybe he was just in a good mood. For, you know, I, I, I don't know why exactly, but he was, um, I think he was just very blunt, and he's kind of one of sure. those guys that he doesn't really like to beat around the bush. Sure. So if you're bad, he'll just tell you you're bad. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're good, he'll tell you you're good. Or you know, he's just very blunt. Which, yeah, of. which in a way, you know, he's a businessman. Exactly. So I think exactly. that's what it is. It's not exactly. like he's not trying to sugarcoat anybody. He's not trying to pay attention to anyone's right. feelings. Right. But it was sad whenever people would cry, or <laughs> you know, bet. kids, because yeah. there were kids up there too, and they you know cry, and I'm like, oh, it, yeah. it was hard too. Well, so how did you feel that this experience helped you grow as an artist? It was, uh, I mean, it was a lot of growth. I also, just being there on the stage and in front of them and, and just kind of seeing how real it was, it's very easy to, to, to get there if you just really continue to, to chase it and be there. So it was, um, it was just, uh, it, I left the show really motivated. Um, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people left um, and they were kind of sad or they mm -hmm. were crying or they're like, oh, this was my only opportunity. And actually it was such a motivator for me Great. that I felt like renewed actually in my music and I actually went home and I, Finished up my EP. I have an EP great. coming out and recorded some new music. And well, yeah, let's yeah, let's, let's hear some of the music. Yes. Enough of me blabbing <laughs> on here. Let's hear some of this. So I'm going to give you guys the stage, okay, and I'll cool. see you on the other side. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. All right, you ready? I'm going to do a song. This is called Over and Over. Love is like butter. It tastes so good, but it's so bad, bad, bad for my heart. You lied, your love. Now I need you to be away from me. It's pleasure and pain when you're in my veins. It tears me apart. Now I know. I know that you're not good for me But you're the best bad thing that ever, ever happened to me And I do it all over and over and over I do it all over and over again I do it all over and over and over and over again was bitter and sweet Now we had had our lows and we had had our highs But I never thought that we would say goodbye Needed your love 
Now I need you to be away from me But you're the best bad thing that ever ever happened to me And I do it all over and over and over I do it all over and over again I do it all over and over and over and over again was bitter and sweet Now we had had our lows and we had had our highs But I never, I never thought that we'd say goodbye No, 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 no But I do it all over and over and over I do it all over and over again I do it all over and over and over and over again And I do it all over and over and over I do it all over and over again I do it all over and over and over Wow. Wow. Christine, that is Thank amazing. You. Thank you so Thank you much. So much. Well, so uh, we can get a copy of that over and over in your holiday album. It's now on iTunes. Yes. Is that yes. right? Um, over and over, you can actually get that on iTunes. Um, oh. My holiday album is actually just Christmas songs. Right, um, okay. So, but you can get um, over and over. We shot a music video to it as well. You did? Yes, okay. you can look it up on um, YouTube. This is more of an acoustic version, and, and uh -huh. this is Casper. This is Casper Leo Gomez. Um, Casper, great work. He Thank so graciously came and performed it. with me today. He actually great. has a Christmas album as well. Awesome. And, um, yeah, so they can um, go on iTunes. You just search Christine Morell. Fantastic. And you can find my Christmas album and over and over. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank Folks, you. Folks, we 